Yo, what is up guys? How's it going today? My name is Saratube and today we are going to be talking about item investing for the Privindos slash Elf City expansion. And since there is a new skilling boss coming out with this expansion, certain items are going to change in demand focused on the boss's drop table and reward table. So we're going to be going over some items that will likely increase in price and be used a lot in this expansion. All the following information that I'm going to give is speculative and there's no guarantee that these items will actually go up in price. I'm just taking a guess here, but if we guess correctly, there is a lot of potential for some serious bank and that's what I'm going to try to do here today and convey these ideas and sort of this analysis that I have towards you guys. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments about which items you are going to invest in for this update and remember to always do your own analysis on the items before you invest. So the first item I actually want to talk about is the Amalus Crystal. Currently, it's actually at a very, very low price, and it's been dipping super low this week, hitting prices of like 9.10 for Amalus Crystal. Uh, GE Tracker didn't pick up on it, but some people in the Discord were picking up Amalus Crystal for like 900, 910. Personally, I was picking it up for 920, and uh, you can see on GE Tracker it actually did get that low. And the thing with Amalus Crystals is every time it gets really low, it always bounces up to a higher price. Now, let's take a look at the year, and you can see it's actually bounced multiple times and I'm actually not nervous at all that it's going to go back up in price just because look at the prices uh, about a couple months back 1.4k for some ammo or 1.3k it usually gets up to these prices and you normally can see it at 1.2k so in the upcoming months I think it's easily gonna bounce off the bottom but on top of that listen to this information it is kind of a resource that will function similar to Revenant, Ether, and Zolver scales in this new update. They, Jagex could easily implement that as like a resource to charge a weapon or maybe charge some certain armors. So I would not be surprised if Jagex actually turned this Amulet Crystal into a resource, therefore making the demand for it go up like crazy. It's not that easy to get Amulet Crystals, guys, because you have to get them through uh, those marks of grace that you get in agility. So not that many Amulet Crystals come into the game hence why they hold a decent price point because you're not really training agility to make money are you it doesn't really have a lot of uses the amulet crystal currently in game besides being an ingredient for a stamina potion so they could easily implement that somewhere else as well and if it's used as a new type of weapon slash armor charge the price is going to go up like crazy because not a lot are coming into the game remember that and if you have a ton stacked up you can just dump that right onto the market people are going to be hungry for it so price will increase in the first one to two months, I would say for this, and then probably go back down to its normal price. But I would not be surprised if we see maybe double the price that we were getting from those Amulus Crystals before, if this is the case. So expect to maybe sell for 1.8 to 2K if it is implemented as a resource like Revenant Ether and Zolver Scales. If it's not, then maybe the price will go up slightly because you might actually need these Amulus Crystals for stamina potions for the actual boss fight and you might need to run around a lot so stamina potions are actually going to be useful and then you know the amulet crystal price will go up a good bit too maybe to like 1.4k 1.5k like we saw before and i think both of those two examples are really good reasons to invest in the amulet crystal i think there's a lot of upside in this upcoming update with the amulet crystal and we'll have to see what jagex actually delivers now next we're going to talk about one of my favorite items to invest in and that is the Din's Bulwark. Currently it's at about 5.4 mil and the history for this item has been pretty brutal. Uh, it used to be like 20 mil, 16, 20 mil and now it's just drastically dropped in price now about 5.4 mil. So currently right now the Din's Bulwark is already very low priced and markets are generally down so items are pretty cheap right now. The reason I think the Din's Bulwark is actually going to be a good investment is because it currently doesn't really have a significant use in the game. As of right now, it's mainly used for like tanking revenants, I think. I think that's the main use of the item. Um, some people use it at some certain bosses like Bandos, but I don't think I've seen it in many places in the game besides revenants. So I think Jagex might add a tanking mechanism to the new skilling boss where holding the Din's Bulwark in that example will be very useful because you get a ton of defense bonus. Maybe with Justicar armor, I'm not sure, but I'm pretty sure Jagex is going to give the Din's Bulwark a better use soon just because it's been out since raids one and it kind of has been irrelevant even, you know, ever since it was released. So I think Jagex might have a plan for this item. Um, if tanking is a main necessity of the new skilling boss, the price of this thing is going to skyrocket. I would imagine maybe 10 to 15 mil dins for a while, maybe a couple months. Um, 
two to three months i would say it was going to hold that price so it might be a good investment for you to make and if not the price of the dins will remain around the same price i mean it's already pretty cheap compared to where it's normally been as of right now it might keep going down i'm not sure but i don't think it's going to fluctuate too much even if it's not implemented with this new expansion the next item that I think will go up a lot in price is the Ceridoman Brew, and the reason I think this will go up a lot in price is first, let's take a look at the graphs, because currently it's at a pretty low price compared to where it normally is. I mean, we've seen these things be like 6k, uh, let's see, what's what was it over here, 4.7k, like they can be very expensive, brews can be very, very expensive, but currently they're not very expensive. On top of this, that's the yearly view, but if we look at the quarter view, guys... We can actually see that it's been on a pretty good run here recently with its price climbing. So I think right now is a pretty good time to buy it because j besides the fact that the graph looks pretty good for this item, it likely is going to be the best in slot healing for the new skilling boss since you won't have to do a lot of combat, just uh, maybe some tanking like we mentioned previously. The price on brews is already pretty low and it is showing good signs of growth here. It's on an upwards trend and price will probably only go up in the short term, like two weeks to a month when this update comes out because herbs will be likely brought into the game uh, with this new skilling boss as a reward. So uh, herb, herb prices are going to remain pretty low, especially since Konar is bringing those prices down a lot right now. Currently, we're seeing some of the lowest herb prices we have uh, in the entire game's history right now. So yeah i would not be surprised if brews don't go up too far maybe to like 3.5k brews that'd be really nice i mean if you bought some now you'd be getting 600 gp returns on those that's pretty good in my opinion so those were three good items that i think you should be investing in for this Prifindos slash elf city expansion update but I'm giving you guys a little bonus. I'm going to be talking about items that you do not want to have in your bank or in your inventory that you would like to sell because they're likely going to be coming into this new expansion in mass amounts. So the price is further going to drop because there's so much supply coming into the game. So the first item I'm actually going to touch on that you do not want to have is Mahogany Logs and Teak Logs. So I guess we'll talk about two items here. Um, so a pull pass for Mahogany Trees uh, to be added to the Prifindos area. And I assume Teak Trees are in that as well. So they're probably going to be added there. And the problem with this is Prifindos has a bank. So it's easy to bank these logs now. So people are going to be chopping these immediately and trying to sell them because the logs are worth more than you know you logs for the most part uh magic logs as well i believe i'm not entirely sure on that actually that's not true at all never mind about that magic logs are way more in price but either way this is going to be a great resource because now it's close to a bank so people are going to train wood cutting and be banking these logs i guarantee price for these things are going to go down the next item I'm actually going to talk about that you do not want to have is more of a category of items, but it's any kind of herb. So this will likely be a reward from new skilling boss because they said they were going to focus on the rewards instead. So I would not be shocked if a ton of herb drops were added to the drop table. They, they have done that for like a lot of other bosses recently and they seem to like to do that. So it would probably be a reward from the new skilling boss if I had to guess. And herbs are already at an extremely low price. If we look at the index here, we can see that currently we've been hitting some of the lowest prices we've ever seen in old school RuneScape for herbs, besides in the very, very beginning of the game's history. Now, since we're getting that low again, I think that you kind of are going to want to sell off these herbs because they might be dumping more into the game soon, and it's really not worth holding on to. You might think, hey, herbs are already at a really low price, maybe I can invest, but trust me, Konar Slayer is bringing in a lot of herbs into the game, and the price is just plummeting on those, so I really don't think you want to be holding any more when the skilling boss comes out because it's likely to be added to the skilling boss's drop table, basically any kind of herb. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you found it useful and kind of maybe resonate with some of the insight I'm giving. Maybe you disagree completely. Let me know in the comments below what you guys are feeling about the new update, what items you think will go up a lot in price, and what you're personally investing in to make bank with this new expansion. Anyway, guys, if you want to join me on Discord and join our flipping group, link in the description below. This is an awesome place to learn how to flip with your cash stack. Whether you're a beginner or an expert flipper, I'm telling you, we can help you. Um, there's a lot of people in there that love giving advice. People post their flips in there. We encourage people to post their flips and their money making in there. So if you're interested in that at all, again, link in the description. We'd love to see you there. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you all next time.